Hi, I'm Sonia Barnaby. I'm a pastoral care for Suffolk and North East Essex. I'm here to guide you through the process of becoming a GP on the International GP Recruitment Programme. Hello, I'm Eleanor Ward. I'm the IGPR coordinator for Norfolk and Waverley. I'm Mark Shenton, I'm a GP in Stone Market, which is in the centre of Suffolk and East Anglia. My name is Dr Lindsay Crockett. I'm the senior partner in a GP surgery, which is in a very rural area in the countryside in Suffolk. So, Lindsay Mark, why is this area a great place to live and work as a GP? Well, I moved up here from London about 10 years ago. I visited regularly my parents and daughter who lived here at the time. Uh, and it's a beautiful area to practice, it's a beautiful area to live. It's countryside and seaside and rivers and very close connections to towns and to cities uh, and to London, you know, in, a, in an hour easily to, uh, to get to. Uh, and practicing here is a real honor actually. You can really uh, work with patients, get to know patients, continuity of care. Uh, it's, it's, it was a really good decision. One of the things that really differed from my experience in London, personal experience in London, is the uh, support from colleagues. There is lots of opportunities to go on training uh, programmes, uh, there's regular um, training events for GPs that are encouraged, uh, we're given protected time to do that as well. So what is it that you, you mean by the protected time? So our clinical commissioning group, the CCG, um, provide uh, cover, what we call backfill cover, for the GP surgeries within that locality to go together for an afternoon every month to learn clinical information. There might be a lecture on a particular topic, rheumatology, for example, or orthopedics. Um, we also network. We have coffee and we have food uh, and that opportunity to meet each other and uh, discuss things and share learning uh, actually uh, is much uh, more than just the few hours that we spend every month. Yeah, and, and that collaborative approach which also includes a local GP federation mm -hmm. and um, their ability to support um, newcomers into the area mm -hmm. to find their feet mm -hmm. and to find work, to mm -hmm. get the necessary um, uh, things in place to allow them to get connections into other practices and to the community of clinicians that is around is, is really good too. It's a huge amount of opportunity as you say to do different things, to work flexibly, to work part time, to be able to have your family time uh, as well or whatever hobby or interest you might have be able to devote time to that and share it with being a general practitioner. And the environment that we have here in San Diego gives you the chance to either be very remote in the mm. countryside or in a village or in a town or near a city yes. um, and it's not very far to get from mm. one place to the next. Mm. And I think um, with, with this area um, we've got the, the um, contrast of, of the coastal area, mm. the, some of the cities, cathedrals, um, as well as the rural areas as well. Mm -hmm. So there is a real sort of, you know, something which suits somebody. Yeah, uh, something for everyone. Yeah, good shopping too. Uh, Norfolk and Ipswich and uh, Norwich rather, and yeah. Ipswich Berry. and Berry and Cambridge yeah. and Colchester. Yeah. Um, there's a lot, uh, there's, there's some good cinemas and yeah, there's, you, you don't ever need to be bored. But from an education perspective, you've got a full choice. You can have the small um, sort of village school um, you know, provided through the education department, um, through to the, the, to the high schools, there's independent schools, um, so there's a, there, there is an array. Once we um, initially make contact with um, the candidates, then we would always find out um, their family background, um, how old the children are, and we have links within the council to then start us on that pathway of finding them suitable education that suits their, their needs. Um, and as we've said, you know, it is vast in, in this area. Yeah, we feel it's very important um, to help with that relocation process. Um, you know, so because as well as coming over here to work, you're coming over to a different country. 
and we're there to help in every angle, um, as well as the schooling, the housing side, um, you know, whether they need refresher dark driving lessons. Um, so yeah, it's really important to have that pastoral support. Thank you.